Hello guys, so I am back with us still talking about our 2023 election. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your location at this time of the day. All right, guys, um, you have seen that already on your screen. According to Atiku Abubakar, that he will resolve uh, and also promise that all the issues that has to do with the uh, Biafra agitation, that as soon as he becomes president, that he will resolve it. Okay, um, we already know the um, story of every Monday uh, sit at home, how it all began. It was um, a suspended sit at home by IPOB uh, in agitation and protest over the continuous detention of uh, IPOB leader. I'm talking about Mazi Namdekanu uh, in DSS custody. And then the, um, every Monday has been a suspended sit at home. And then, the, um, according to some analysts, that the South is lost about um, one billion naira every Monday over the um, continuous sit at home in protest of IPOB uh, leader in DSS um, custody. So, according to uh, Mati Kwabobaka, he has begged the South East leaders to prevail on their youth to end the every Monday. Uh, sit at home, lamenting that it had seriously, it had seriously affected the economy of the country. All right, guys, um, the reason why I'm making this video, I believe um, one of the reasons why Biafra is agitating, um, it's uh, personally everyone knows that the continuous marginalization of that region. Yes, everyone knows the reason why uh, Biafra is agitating. And then the um, Atiku Abubakar, the same person that advocated um, power shift or power should rotate uh, to the Southeast, that was in 2010. Okay, everybody has been talking about uh, this Southeast presidency, as we already know, after the Civil War, uh, the Igbos has not produced a uh, president of Nigeria. It is always between uh, the Yorubas and the North, all right? So people is, you know, agitating for the Igbo presidency. Yes, like seriously. Okay, Um, I really don't know why Atiku. Personally, I think um, it's part of um, the campaign, all right? It's part of campaign because uh, if Atiku Abubakar is really serious about this, I believe um, he should support this Igbo presidency. I mean, a full animal, uh, handing over to another Fulani man. And then uh, in Tinubu's case, uh, a Muslim-Muslim ticket. So I believe um, the good combination uh, should be Peter Obi and his running mate, at least for equity and fairness. That is the same thing everybody has been talking about, that power should go to the Southeast. The Southeast has not produced presidency. Uh, Olusegun Obasanjo, a Yoruba man, has been there uh, from the North. Bwari has been there, and then the Yoruba man also been uh, the present vice uh, president. I mean, the East or Southeast should be given opportunities. So I was hoping that uh, Atiku Abubakar will also support that, um, you know, uh, support Southeast presidency or the Igbo presidency. But however, let me, let me see how Atiku Abubakar will resolve this. Uh, Biafra agitation because personally I think the agitation will continue if the Igbos uh, do not produce president in 2023. Let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.